And welcome back. It's 926. So Katie Blake and David Sears are back on the road this morning. They are live at Rose Garden Elementary in shirts with a fourth grade class. Oh, this will be fun. Good morning, guys. Tell us more about today's experiment. Good morning. Yes, we are with Miss Pollock's fourth grade class here at Rose Garden Elementary School. These are a group of fourth graders that have been learning a lot about weather recently. So when Miss Pollock and I were talking about what activity we'd like to do with these kiddos, uh, we thought something weather related would be a good idea. And I found this idea for a snowstorm in a jar. And I thought that was pretty fitting considering this year marks the one year anniversary of our big freeze from February. 2021. So these students have been learning a lot about different types of weather. Will you keep that for a second? Different types of precipitation. I asked them if they could tell me, um, give me an example of one kind of precipitation that we see a lot of here in South Texas. And this young lady had an answer for me. What did you tell me? What was one example of precipitation? Rain. Rain. Very good answer. That's what we see the most of here. But every now and then we do see a little bit of snow. And you guys, the difference between snow and rain, when rain falls, it's above freezing, the air is above freezing from the ground all the way up into the atmosphere. When snow falls, the air is at or below freezing from the ground all the way up into the atmosphere. So since it's still technically winter, we're gonna go with the frozen route today. So what we've got here, we've got some mason jars, we've got baby oil, we've got white paint, and glitter and also some Alka-Seltzer. So pretty simple supplies list. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. These guys, they already know step one, that's to put the baby oil in their mason jars. So you guys go ahead and get started. So you're filling it up. We right are. to where Mr. David filled it up here, right yeah. to... How far are we going up to? The middle of that K. Here. We're going to that K, right? And yeah. Kerr here. So, like so right. once these guys get their baby right, oil so in there about two thirds of the yeah. way, one we're going to have them go over to the sink, put a little bit of yeah. water in. There you go. Then we add our paint, and then the Alka-Seltzer, they've got their tabs, that comes last. And that's what's going to help to make this effect of snow in the jar. It looks really cool, and it's something that the kiddos can do over and over if they just add a little more Alka-Seltzer in there. It's a really cool activity to have on hand at home. How's it looking? I think that's, that's pretty close. Good job. Very good job, you guys. Yeah. That's that's right. perfect. I think that's a good that's a good amount. Good job. Squeeze away. Uh oh, that's alright. Do you guys need your example? <laughs> good job. Good job. This is a tedious process, but it's we're getting there. Look at that. What do you think? All right. So step one is pretty much complete. Here we've got our baby oil. We're gonna continue here during the break, but when we get back from this commercial break, we will make our snowstorm in a jar here at Rose Garden Elementary School. We'll be right back. 